hello all so welcome to the tutorial in which i am going to continue my explanation of abacus simulation which i have done in my research article which i have published in journal of vibration engineering and technology jvet so this was the research article and uh, we'll continue to sketch uh, con complete the sketch and uh, uh, creation of part in this tutorial we might also this uh, tutorial might also include the assignment of properties as well so yeah uh, let's start now uh, let me go back to the python script which we are earlier generated now uh, in this python script we completed this part uh, basically generation of ballast blt and sbt uh, sketches now this was the homework part which you should attempt on your own but i will show you what i have done here i have created a rectangle starting from 0, 0 comma minus 1 to 10 comma minus 11 so this will be a 10 by 10 of a rect not rectangle but a square so subgrade will be a square and you can create it very similarly using line command you can also use rectangle command as well so that depends on how you do it uh, you can make you want to make it simple you can do that as well then again i assume line command is much simpler if you are going for uniform case study you can also create uh, this uh, points in a comma separated values file and then read them using another python code which we might do something like that in future now for the sleeper uh, we again have a trapezoidal shape which is shown in the part c of figure one of my research article uh, you can assume any point is origin and uh, draw the uh, sleeper sketch now going back to the rail a rail is a bit complex it's kind of inverted t shape and you can assume any point as origin so and starting from the origin you can start uh, your uh, rail uh, connecting lines by line with the uh, different points so you can see here i have uh, eight connections of eight line segments which need to be connected now after creating all the sketches i have this sketch all dot python script now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to go to abacus and i'm going to run this script sketch all and let's see what happens so here all the sketches have been created you can check out uh, uh, individual sketch no, not the last but let's check out the rail sketch which is the complex one so it is correct then all the other sketches are correct yeah so you can see this is the rail and this rail has the same dimensions as given here 0 0.5 uh, uh, so 0 0.05 meter and 0.02 meter division in this T section and overall width is 0.15 so almost similar to UIC 60 rail but I have simplified it because we are not concentrating our uh, efforts on the rail and sleeper so these uh, di diagrams are much simplified now in this tutorial the major part is to explain the part module so we will go to the part module and we will start creating part but before creating part again we will start with macro manager and in the macro manager we'll go and create our macro in the working directory and click on continue so this will start uh, the macro recording we'll push this dialog box away now we'll go to create part we'll create a 3d part we'll name it blt and uh, 3d deformable solid using extrusion approximate size we can keep up to 10 and click on continue now <coughs> yeah uh, this uh, will again come back to the sketch module now here is the useful task which we can do is to add the sketches which we have created you can go to this dialog box of adding sketches now click on this and uh, start adding the ballast sketch click on ok now uh, here it rings the bell that uh, sketch has been added now we'll click on repositioning we don't require any repositioning so we'll click on done we can basically reposition anything later on in assembly generation now uh, we'll again click on done so it gives up the uh, extrusion dialog box so we'll go for 10 meter depth of extrusion and click on ok so yeah this is our ballast part we similarly we have to generate all the parts using extrusion um, basically sleeper will have a different depth of extrusion because sleeper will be perpendicular to all the real ballast sleeper and so on so we'll stop recording and we'll uh, go to our folder where uh, working directory is so my working directory again previously i showed you is in the d abacus directory you can change it 
Now I'll go to this uh, py file, abacus micros .py file, and I'm just going to copy this code which uh, was generated. Other import uh, uh, lines are basically very general, and you don't need to copy them all over again. So yeah, uh, we need to just copy this code from down here, and we are going to push this code in the same file. Maybe we'll later on change the name of the sketch all file to assembly all or just uh, model now shift tab and uh, all this uh, lines uh, are uh, properly stuffed together now you can see where the part creation has been started so you can see mdb model constraint sketch so this is a sketch creation so it isn't it's, this line is not required here because we already have done with this gvdc we have already seen here this gvdc uh, creation here in the line 27 so we don't again require this line as well okay yeah set primary object so this is a, a setting uh, setting uh, basically settings uh, lines so we don't want to change our settings of sketches because uh, most of the python job will run under uh, like underground or behind the scene so we don't want to do any uh, scenic uh, objective like setting something like standalone primary primary object or this kind of thing because this is mostly related to views so again coming to view sketch option we don't require any uh, set uh, uh, origin or something uh, we don't want to retrieve a sketch so these lines are basically not necessary for our part creation now looking at the lines uh, under now this basically retrieves the sketch uh, s1 but again uh, is s1 being used here yeah, so S1 is being used here as a sketch is equal to S1. Again, so can we uh, replace this S1 directly here? Yeah, we can do that. So what we have to do is that sketch equal to sketch equal to S1. So here a sketch equal to S1 and a sketch equal to MDB model uh, dot sketches BLT. We can directly copy this part and control. We can cut it directly and we can paste it instead of s1 so that we don't require our s1 sketch so we can remove this line again viewport and fitting view basically uh, anything related to view is not required because it will be a background process now p md model so this is a part creation so this line is required so yeah p dot mdb model so this creates a part named named as ballast and this p again retrieves a part named as blt okay now uh, this sketch base solid extrude sketch is equal to mdb dot model database so basically what other after any line after this are related to uh, uh, viewing or uh, viewport uh, visualization so we don't require these lines anyway okay so i'm going to delete these lines so here these three lines are only important even not these three lines you can just comment out this middle line because the p part has been already created so what we are going to do is that we have created a part and what we did is that p dot solid extrude so we extruded a sketch from uh, retrieving the, uh, the sketch which we have as a name of ballast for a depth of 10 meter so this line also is not required so only two lines are required to generate a extrusion based part a 3d deformable extrusion based part so i'm going to save this and i'm going to close this macro and i'm going to go to working directory and not go to working directory what i will do is that i'll go to macro manager and i'll delete the macro from here so that uh, it gets deleted here as well so it doesn't get deleted but we can delete it from here as well yeah so yeah we have now brand new sketch dot all file now we'll dismiss this and we'll generate a new brand new file we'll not save this because anyway we are going to learn python here now what we have created as ballast part is recorded in the script now we'll run the script which is sketch underscore all yeah so yeah you can see uh, nothing the viewport has not changed because we are not changing any viewport setting but the part has been created you can see here and it's so fast it just as soon as you click on run script and click on the script it runs and it will not show unless it is a very large script it will show a, a circle going on going on 
like so but here you can see the ballast you have the feature solid extrude you can also see it here yeah like that so very similar to that we want to generate all the parts now again i will not go much deeper what i will do is that uh, i am just going to copy this and i am going to paste it several times yeah so ballast and then sbt sub ballast and the sketch name again will be sbt and after sub uh, blast will go for subgrade sbg and the sketch will be sbg so this name of part is the first we are generating the part so for there is no problem if two objects which is the part and the sketch have same name because these are different objects so python will not contradict basically you are saying a dog has named uh, johnny and a person human has name as johnny so it will not conflict because people can differentiate based on their class one is a dog and one is a man yeah so but uh, in general context it might be confusing so you want to create something like sbt sketch or sbt part but for right now uh, for my purpose i am not going to deflect from my tutorial which is to uh, ta teach python using abacus now uh, maybe i will change the name of the rail part so i am going to call it rail and the sketch which we have is rl so i'm going to save this again and uh, i'll see how it goes i will again go to abacus go to file and uh, start with a brand new model without saving it and i will again run the script yeah here four pa parts have been generated let me look at the rail yeah you can see this rail is looking pretty fine and uh, sub grade and blast and sub blast all of them are looking what we have expected them to look like so in this tutorial we'll only follow up to the part creation and in the later tutorial we'll start with generating properties of this parts but we'll not assign them we'll just generate the properties so thank you.